How often have you found yourself in a predicament where your child just won't accept the word no? It's a common struggle for parents, isn't it? Kids will be kids after all, testing boundaries and often expressing their resistance through tears, tantrums, and whining. But it's crucial for us as parents to stand firm and consistent. Giving in to their demands only reinforces their belief that such behaviors are effective. Teaching children the concept of no is not an easy task. It requires time, patience, and a whole lot of resilience. But it's an investment that pays off in the long run. Children who grow up understanding and respecting the word no are more likely to become secure, accomplished, and content adults. They learn the value of boundaries, the importance of self-discipline, and the skill of navigating social interactions. Remember, teaching the concept of no is not a sprint but a marathon, requiring patience and time. Why is understanding no so crucial for children's development? It's a question many ask, and the answer lies in four key benefits. Firstly, understanding no helps set boundaries. It's a tool that teaches children to manage their desires, preventing rash decisions that could lead to regret. For instance, a child who understands no will think twice before impulsively eating all their Halloween candy in one sitting. Secondly, this understanding enhances social skills. It allows children to respect others' boundaries, fostering harmonious interactions. Imagine a child who wants to play with a friend's toy. Knowing when to respect a no can avoid unnecessary conflicts. Thirdly, no is a safety net. It's the red light that stops children from running into dangerous situations. A child who comprehends no knows not to touch the hot stove. Lastly, understanding no fosters self-discipline. It's a compass guiding children towards ethical decisions, like resisting the temptation to peek at a friend's test paper. Children who understand no are better equipped to navigate the world around them. So, how can we effectively teach children to understand and respect no? The answer lies in the deployment of strategies that are as compassionate as they are constructive. First up is offering alternatives. When a child's request must be denied, suggest other options that could be equally satisfying. For instance, if they wish to stay up late watching television, propose a compromise like reading a book or playing a quiet game. Patience is another cornerstone in this process. Understanding no is a journey, and it's essential to remain steady and patient. Children will inevitably stumble along the way, but these are opportunities for growth, not grounds for punishment. When they make mistakes, respond with calmness and guide them towards learning from their experiences. With these strategies, you can help your child understand the importance of no and use it to their advantage. And remember, the end goal here is to raise a child who is not only safe and successful, but also fulfilled and respectful of boundaries.